Hi and welcome to Export Kit. In this demonstration slash example, I'm going to show you one of our most exciting new features in our 2022 release. And this is our responsive screen generator. Now I'm going to go over how this works and some of the benefits. So be sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for new and upcoming videos, and let's jump right in. So responsive screens, uh, typically there were two old fashioned ways that we had where you had to manually create it. So we do this all for you now. So if you go to the tools and you select responsive screens, you'll note that there are a couple of options. Uh, what we have is the default, and we're just gonna test the default just for argument's sake. But there's also web, uh, Android, and iOS, etc. Now, the naming convention or sizing convention is similar to our icons where what you can do is you can either have a default width such as 450, uh, you can have a width and a height, so let's say 450, by 500 and you can also separate them by commas so this is how you could note your sizes to in essence target any screen that you'd like or any device so we're just gonna create them right now there are two options you can either do it with constraints or without for argument's sake we're gonna do it without constraints and we can see here that there are some graphics that are not inside of their frames so that's issue number one and using responsive screens you'll be able to tell a lot of the errors <laughs> very quickly in some of the designs. Uh, let's just uh, cover another quick very important point. When you use responsive screens the plugin will assume that you're looking for dynamic in the output. So when we export responsive dynamic will work well but for instance if we were to undo and we were to only export as is individual pages we do not want dynamic on. Uh, we're going to get display errors in that setting unless you set up your your design specifically for dynamic rendering. So this is just an important note. Um, in essence, when you're going to e export just your an individual page, you want to just turn dynamic off. So let's go back to the tools uh, and to responsive screens, and let's take a look at what we saw in the output. We saw a shopping cart. Well, we can see here this icon is outside of the frame what frame does that belong to 16 let's just drag it in let's see where else something is out out these two where is that okay that's located here the frame is number seven so let's just drag that in number seven and there was one more this vector which is located here this is in number six. So let's just drag that in number six. And we should be good to go after that. So once this is done, we can, in essence, uh, redo. Well, you know what? Let's test it with constraints to see if any constraints were applied to the design. You can see automatically there were no constraints applied. And also, take note that constraints only work up to a certain degree. Uh, <laughs> you're much better to manually change the design if you actually desire to do so otherwise just use the scaling feature so you'll see now that there are no errors with our responsive screens it generated everything correctly there are no random assets that are outside of the design so what this has done is it has scaled based on your original design in as many aspects as it could per se. Uh, for instance, I believe that this element here might have a lock on the width and the height. Uh, yes, so it has a constraint. Either way, the constraints are what is keeping it in that position. I fully recommend that you remove constraints as much as you can. It'll give you a better scale and then you can change your design as required for that target screen. Uh, but otherwise, you know, you can just work with as is and then change it as need be. Now, to go over a couple of things with your responsive screens, what's very important is that you try to target as many screens as possible. So <laughs> although we did a couple for the default, let's just take a look at how many you should really do for web. And this is an idea of a typical website and the number of screens that you would have to generate. So don't be shy to change the designs i mean it did a lot of the work for you already and you'll be able to have it look the exact way that you expect in your target output 